Hello again guys and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 3 uh, Morrowind. Before we get into this, as you may be able to tell, we are not exactly in the same place where we're finished. I can explain the reason for that. Let me just pause the game here. What happened is because, as you know, in the last episode, we talked to Kais Kassad, and then I went to uh, go talk to the Orc. In the Mages Guild, I think it's something, Grammelscope, the, the, the female Orc that was there, which, which had information on... Uh, one of the houses, uh, one of the secret cults or whatever. I can't remember the name of it. Apologies for that. Uh, it could have been the sixth house or it might have been the other one. But I went and do that and I found someone standing outside. I, I didn't recognise them. It turns out I, d I, I do know who they are, but I talked to them. I mentioned the murderer's description. You know, the one who, m who murdered uh, Ralan Lalo? Or Lalu? No, it was, it was Lalo. Or was it Lalu? Shit. I think it was Ralan Lalo. Yes, it was Lalo. Yes. So, uh, she told me that this person here, standing right in front of me, uh, could well be the murderer. Now, if you remember, the murderer's description had uh, red hair, born Moldama, and a Dwema Warax. Now, this person, this person here told me it could be Nine Toes. But Nine Toes is an Argonian who doesn't have red hair, who doesn't wear bone mold armor. So I've come to the conclusion that it has to be this one. Now, the reason why I didn't actually have all that in is because I came here, I saved, then I had to quickly come off. As I had to leave quite quickly. So I stopped it and then I deleted all the videos. Which is a bit stupid of me, but that but, but but that's what happened between the last episode and this one. Nothing that much has changed. It's just we haven't really done anything. It's just I I learned that this guy is probably the murderer because you know it's red hair. Everything matches really. So what I think we're gonna have to do, what are you doing? Uh, what I think we're gonna have to do here because because I did obviously save. Now, now see, what happens if you mention the murderer's description? It says, just for instance, I assure you Nine Toes is the real murderer. Now, Nine Toes, uh, we've got asked about Nine Toes. Yeah, well, it's... No. It, it, it can't be, because, quite simply, he's an Argonian. The, the maid specifically said that it was a Dunmer. This guy is a Dunmer. He's wearing bone mold armor, his hair is red, up like that. But what I'm going to have to do, of course, is get him to like me. Unless maybe I now mention it, maybe I'll... No, it, it doesn't change no matter what you do. So what, what I'm going to have to do now is uh, try and taunt him into attacking me. Because obviously I need him to hit me first. Otherwise, he's bringing out the young other jokes again. That does it. It's done. Right. He's gonna attack me. And that. That, oh, oh, it's the Dwarven War Axe, it's the Dwarven War Axe, but... Yeah. So there you go. The murderer of Ronald Lalo is uh, dead. Just like that. Uh, I'll take all my gold back, for one. Definitely. Uh, uh, I'll take that to sell. I'll just leave everything else where it is. And, I mean, nobody actually saw that either, so... I, maybe I could have just attacked him, but... Yeah, I, I'm fairly confident that it was him. So now, we have to go to... Hlalu... Hlalu Manor? Uh, which is... Yeah, the Hlalu Council Manor, which is up here. And obviously we go there, and we can tell the person there that uh, the murderer of Ralan Lalo is dead. 
Then once we've done that, we can probably go talk to the Orc in the Mages Guild. That's not the What's right place. It's it, it up here? It's all the way up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's this big building. I, I really hope it was him. I haven't seen anyone else with red hair like that, wearing bone mold armor, wearing a dwarven war. Although, was that bone mold armor? <laughs> oh shit! I'm not sure if it was bone mold armor. Uh, who was I meant to talk to again for with this? Is there some? No, oh, it's. Is there something I it's this one, isn't it? You, The murderer. You killed Fenelon Velas. House Lala will s not soon forget this act of vengeance. Take these 1,000 drakes as a reward for solving this murder. 1,000 gold, that is good. So, yeah, I obviously fucked up that quest. So, so that's an extra 1,000 gold, which is very nice indeed, I have to admit. So now I guess we can go ahead and... Uh, talk to thingy. I can't help you. Get healed elsewhere. I don't want to get healed. Well, I, I kind of do, but yeah. But we need we need to talk to the female orc in here. She has information Is about things. Not really. No, I don't need. Any oh, there's a mage. Can I take from this? I can, can't I? Do I need anything from this? Can I just read this? Did I just pick it up? I did, didn't I? Oh. Can I read it? That's that's very valuable, isn't it? But it doesn't really do anything. I, I, th I thought it'd be like an attribute booster because uh, because of the fact that's greetings. Um, what exactly? Do it was so cry? valuable, you know. Ah, this, yeah, Sean. Worthy of my knowledge, you may speak. Thank you. No, I don't know how many times. Oh, you are one of Caius' associates? That is a different matter. Caius and I have, very, uh, have a very satisfactory arrangement, and I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreements if you'll complete a little errand for me. I don't know what that even means. I don't need anything there. Uh, duties. Speak with Ajira. Okay. Ajira made a, Ajira made a bet with Galvedere about who would get to the rank of journeyman first. I hope it doesn't more flame. I should actually go to the library like last time. I'll try, but I'll try maybe uh, talking to both of them about that because I want to see if I can do anything with, with that. But I, 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 don't, I don't know. Errand. The errand then is very simple. I need the skull of Levule Andrano. Andrano. You'll find it in Andrano ancestral tomb. But take care not to upset the natives. The Dunma have some peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy and take grave objections to unauthorized tomb visits. Oh my god. The tomb is south of Pelagia, just off the road, just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest towards Selenine and southeast to Vivek. You may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Uh, here, take this old short sword, and maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. So I'll probably have to use the enchanted blade against the 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 monsters or something there. He was no one special, a journeyman enchanter. There may be many skulls in Drano too, but you'll have no problem recognizing Levelus skull from the ritual markings. No, of course not. I can't. I can't teach you spells. I'm not a necromancer. No, absolutely not. Not a necromancer. Oh dear. <laughs> I think I think she is. Uh, in the Empire, necromancy is a legitimate discipline, though body and spirit are protected property and may not be used without permission of the owner. But in Morrowind, the Dunmer loathe necromancers and put them to death. That, that's absurd, of course, since the Dunmer summon their own dead to guard tombs and defend the family. Sacred necromancy is righteous, while philosophical necromancy is evil. It's primitive superstition, that's all. Uh, ne necromancers. Interesting. Shan Grand must go, but assures me that she is not a necromancer and that she can't teach many spells. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if I got to like me a bit more. She would. It, it probably would, but. Uh, so let's leave the Mage's Guild, and from there we can probably decide which which quest we 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 should do. If we can find the door, it's this this one, isn't May it? Yes. No, you can't. 
Okay, so let's have a look at the quest list, see what quests we want to do. Um, hmm. There's a lot of things, isn't there? Oh, we could go back to... Eb no, where was it? Eb is it Ebenhardt? I think it was Ebenhardt, wasn't it? The place down here somewhere. Yes, Ebenhardt. If we go, if we go to Ebenhardt, we can... Um, thingy. Such and such. Uh, deliver the uh, drakes, the 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 money that the, the money that we collected for the uh, cult. But at the same time, I kind of want to go to Hlaod. I think is it is that Hlaod? I was like Nam. I think it was Namok actually, because if you remember. Um, at Nam Mok, th there is someone there I have to speak to. I can't quite remember what one it was. Uh, I know there is a quest there I have to s speak to someone at Nam Mok, but. Vivek. That's also Vivek. Can't do that one right now. Oh, I have told me that Kararel lived in Namok, a fishing village on the west coast of Yardenfell. And if you remember, also in uh, Gnarmok is, well she was outside Gnarmok the last time I remember, uh, was that woman or the, I think, I can't remember if she was an elf or, or maybe, a, it could be an imperial, she sold me, or she gave me those uh, quick boots, the one that make you really, really fast, but they blind you, you know, they completely you know, it turns the skin completely black, so they're obviously shoddy boots, and of course, you remember, we talked to people, and it turns out that that woman has a bounty on her head. This, this is the person who told me about the, the murder's description, by the way. Fuck off. Fucking done. I, I, swear, he's, I, swear, I swear he tries to follow me, you know. I'm sure he does. So I'm pretty sure this is the way to Gnarmok. It's gonna be a long way. I don't think we can take ourselves right there because it's one of the one of those that's on the water. Uh, and if we wanted to take a water transportation, we'd have to walk to uh, Flat Old, which seems a bit sh stupid to me. It's not it's not that it's not that far away in Amok anyway, really. So we should just just walk there. There's not really much point in in walking all the way to Flat Old. Just take the boat to Namok. So hopefully, when we go to Namok, we'll be able to kill two birds with one stone. But I don't know. It it could go either way. It could go either way. Balmora. Yes, I don't want to go to Balmora. I'm leaving Balmora. So I I, I have to remember to not sell that 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 fire blade. Although this sword is enchanted, isn't it? But I suppose fire blade, you know. What's that? And I'll hear a noise then. Oh, is that rat? Yep. Oh, fucking hell. There's rats everywhere. Rat meat. Delicious. Delicious rat meat. These signposts say anything? It's Balmora, Caldera, uh, Rubrush? Oh, it's the plant. Pelagiad. Can I harvest this? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so... I think, you know, as you, uh, Caldera is, uh, is on the way. So, it is on the way to Narmok, so we may, might as well 
go this way. I hope we can find that that, that trade outside now. I hope she's still there. Uh, because I, I, because she's got a bounty on her head and she sold me faulty boots. So I didn't, I didn't even know that. I didn't, know, I didn't actually know that that was possible. Faulty boots. Quite literally, faulty boots. What was that noise? I'm warning you, fuckers. I'm not deaf or blind. Although, if I put the boots on it, well, I w probably would be. Sounds like there is something moving. No, apparently, I can't, apparently I'm not, not seeing by anything. How odd. If you if you go into sneak mode, oh, but he's Caldera, so w w I I think we're quite safe. It shouldn't be too far to now mock from here. We've already explored Caldera quite thoroughly anyway, so there's not really much... Uh, yeah, Permit of the Trader, yeah. No one bother trying to collect... Well, she's, she's got a bounty on her head, does Pemney the Trader. Who the fuck yeah. is this? I have absolutely no idea. No idea whatsoever. Clears throats, yes of course. Uh, it's this way to Narmok, uh, through the very foggy area. Let's just check. Caldera, Aldrun, Caldera Mining Company, fucking hell. It's definitely this way. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. I mean, look, we obviously went all the way over there, so it has to be this way, doesn't it, really? Whoo, boy. It's a very tiring process, exploring Morrowind, I tell you. It's a big map, though, look. Look at this. It's Honestly, I, I, I'm on part, what, 32, 33 now? I can't quite remember. And... I've not even done like a quarter of the map, it's incredible. There's, there's so much content in the Elder Scrolls game, it's amazing. You, you could honestly play for hundreds of hours and you still wouldn't be done with it. I'm not joking. It's crazy. And, and there's mods as well, there's people like, obviously uh, for Steam, there's the Steam Workshop now. Now look, is this way where people put you know mods on steam for people to subscribe to and to download them and they can use them in the game and before even, even before that I imagine that there is other sites as well but a site that I was quite familiar with was uh, Nexus Mods uh, .org or .com or something like that that place uh, did a ridiculous amount of mods for loads of games, not not, not just uh, the Elder Scrolls. Did like Dark Souls, Dragon Age, stuff like that. It's but for all the Elder Scrolls games, yeah, but they obviously had those as well. So I'm not even joking. I think there is quite literally tens of thousands of mods for uh, games like. Uh, Skyrim and Morrowind and Oblivion, stuff like that. And there's a lot of uh, creatures around this 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 area. A am I being? Fl yes, I'm being flew towards to. Oh my god! I fucking despise cliff races, but I like cliff rigid. <laughs> Is that alive? Of course it's alive. It's not anymore though. Uh, right. 
It's just over these hills now, Mock, I believe. If we can make it over, we should be able to. As long as I don't get ambushed by any more cliff races, we should be fine. Oh god, well... We are going to get ambushed by a rat. Ah, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Top class, top class. Really scary red eyes those rats have, I have to say. Oh my god! The slide attack, yes. We did the slide attack. The signature attack of the adventurer as he slides down a very steep cliff face. Oh my god, what was that? I shit myself. I actually just shit my... No, I didn't really, but... Oh! That was, um... That was quite... Sudden, wasn't it? Just came out of nowhere, that thing. Use the health potion anyway. Restore the old HP. Uh, it's just across this bridge, I believe. No more fucking. What's that noise? Oh, it's the bridge. What the fuck does this bridge even do? What? Why is this here? I don't fucking understand anything anymore. I have no idea. Just taking it slow st so we can restore our stamina. I see a rat over there. No real need to tangle with it right now. We were very close to our mock now. Epic music is the is there someone nearby? What's that? What, what, why is that music playing? What the fuck's that thing? Good grief! Ah! Uh, no, it's it's just normal music, apparently. Huh. Whoa, kid! I heard something there. Oh, what the! F I swear to God! Oh my lord! No! Oh my! I fucking hate these things so fucking much. If I remember correctly, those jellyfish. Oh, okay, they might not be friendly. Are those, are those jellyfish friendly? What's that noise? What's, what, what's even happened? Oh my good grief. I don't remember if those jellyfish are friendly or not. Those big giant bloaty things are. I think. Why is it got, oh my god. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, that shall do. You've got my ear, let's hear it. Let's uh, end the episode here, guys, and then we'll deal with this in the next one. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and share with your friends. Stay tuned for episodes of The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. If you have any suggestions for games I can play on this channel, then please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Cheers. Bye.